my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a Caterpillar 305.5E. This is an E Series CR. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. If you buy this machine from me or any of the others that we have for sale, we got some brooms and skid steers and compactors. Uh, excavators, we got a big swell stabilizer there. Point is, uh, if you buy any one of these tractors from me, you're going to be dealing with Perp Provencio. He's the guy running the camera right now. Um, the serial number on this machine is it's a uh, 3055 ELF KY0203. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. Uh, again, we're going to talk about the mechanics of this particular machine, the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and then we'll run it in the third. So, um, open this stuff up for you. Price on a new machine like this these days is anywhere between sixty-five dollars to $70,000 maybe even more than that. They say that the prices of equipment from, or actually vehicles new and used, equipment new and used is gonna double in the next few years because of our friend uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, this machine has uh, 1,300 and 1,312 hours on it on a working service meter. Oh, I need the key to open that. Now this machine, battery right there. It doesn't have a battery disconnect, does it? No. Okay. Um, so as far as manufacturers go, everybody's heard of Caterpillar. They're pretty ubiquitous out there. Not only are they ubiquitous, they're number one in the sale of uh, heavy construction, mining, and even utility equipment. This machine here is considered a piece of utility equipment. Um, this machine here weighs 11,938 pounds. The widest point are those tracks right there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> At six and a half feet. Highest point is the top of that cap at eight foot four inches the transportation link from the end of these tracks right here to the front of that knuckle when it's a transport profile is 17 foot six inches <coughs> excuse me this machine is it would be considered like a very large mini m-i-n-i or a or a smaller midi m-i-d-i it's like right in between it's a sweet spot of uh, minis and midis so like a kamatsu this would be like in between a pc50 and a pc60 um like maybe a john deere 60 as uh, another comparable model as far as the history of this unit goes this machine like almost every machine we purchase is an original owner dallas texas machine I say that because it has no rust. You know, we're we're 600 miles from the ocean and um, we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. And you say, well, what difference does that make? Well, you see all these electrical connectors and whatnot. I mean, you see what it does to vehicles on roads, but believe it or not, that, that salt gets in the air and uh, it messes up your these little electrical DT connectors. It gets in everything. It has a corrosive effect. So the point, maybe we should have cleaned this, this out a little better. It's kind of muddy and stuff, but uh, we'll give it a bath maybe if we get a chance. We're just running real busy right now. So, uh, uh, yeah. We're, we're far enough south, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. So this is a, a rust-free machine. Just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor and municipality that we deal with here in the Metroplex. And this machine is no different. 
This machine came from a company that I've done a ton of business with over the years. I bought things to them, uh, bought things from them. I've sold things to them. Uh, really good company. They got an excellent maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. I've been happy with every single machine I purchased with these guys from these guys over the last 30 years, and uh, I think they can say the same of me. <laughs> Uh, the guy that, uh, the, the, the type of work that the guy that uh, I bought this off of was a, uh, he was a pool contractor. So he did, uh, he did big, large pools and small ones and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> I guess I should say before I purchase any machine, I have two mechanics to go out and inspect it. And then I send Perf Provencia to go out and inspect it. And if Perf says everything's okay and those other two mechanics says, everything, says everything's okay, then I personally go out and I inspect it before I write a check. So these machines are four times vetted. Perf doesn't go out there until we get a clearance from the first two. And I don't, get a, I don't go out there until I get a clearance from all three. So we're pretty particular about what we buy. Okay, as far as options go, this machine is pretty much fully loaded. You can see it's got an enclosed cab. The AC on it blows ice cold. Like I say, we got we didn't we didn't clean it up, so it's still in its work clothes. It's still kind of muddy and um, but this is uh, this is a real machine. It's got an enclosed cab. AC blows ice cold. The heater works just fine. You can see here, it's got this little strike-off blade here. <clears throat> right in here, you can see it's got an offset boom. So what's the relevance of an offset boom? If you're digging alongside a wall, you can dig parallel to your tracks. If the boom was just fixed in the center, you couldn't do that. So that's that's the benefit of an of a. It's got auxiliary hydraulics. <clears throat> now, let me explain something on these hydraulics. These, um, these are, there's, there's single direction, which you would use to run a breaker and stuff like this. There's, there's dual direction, which you would use for a thumb, okay? And then there's, there's, uh, there's, there's dual function. Now, this, these hydraulics here are dual function. In other words, they'll run just about anything. So you can put a thumb, if you have a dual direction uh, hydraulic system, it'll only run a shear or a thumb, but it will not run a breaker or an auger or anything like that. But if you have dual function hydraulics, which is what this machine has, it'll run everything. So you can see here, we got a, uh, <clears throat> there's a hydraulic thumb on this thing. We also have a stiff arm for this. Uh, if you're doing like a lot of like, major demolition you don't want to you know you want to get a, you want to use your thumb to break out you don't want to put that stress on this cylinder we also have a have a stiff arm <clears throat> now the way this thumb uh what this thumb does is you can see these pins right here you take these pins out there's a there's a cotter pin right there a keeper pin you pull these out and you disconnect these lines right here these are just regular uh quick couple lines so you take these lines off, you take this cylinder off, and you use this pin or this pin to brace this uh, this thumb right up against itself. So the thumb has got a very low profile when you're not using it if you don't if you don't want to use it or you don't need it. The other thing this uh, excavator's got is it's got a it's got a got a um, coupler on it. Now this is a mechanical coupler, caterpillar. Uh, uh, did a pretty good job with these. Have you taken this one off yet, Perf? Yes. Okay. It's easy. It's pretty easy to take off, so we'll we'll mess with that here in a bit. You can see these thumbs, right? These thumbs. This uh, this oil right here is actually we just Perf, you uh, put like WD-40. You put WD-40 and stuff. He just greased this machine up, so that's what this this grease is from. This machine has no leaks. In it. This is this is actually WD-40. I guess we just took the thumb off first. Yes, sir. 
Okay. So you can see that the teeth right there, those are twin tiger teeth. Um, trying to think if I forgot anything. Um, oh, there is a 12 volt outlet in the cab. Um, as far as the engine goes, these videos are long because we're really thorough about this stuff. We've been doing this a lot. I've been in the heavy construction mining business my whole life, so I like to, I like to really, like if you can't come to look at this machine, I want it to, I want these videos to be just as good as if you were here. So if you look at this, uh, this uh, engine here, that's a Caterpillar C2.4. I've heard it said that that's actually a Perkins engine that cat private labels, but I'm not absolutely positive on that. It is a bulletproof engine. It's a common engine, C24. They use it in a lot of different things. It's a 44 gross horsepower, 46 nor uh, net horsepower. It's extremely fuel efficient. Uh, this has got a 16.6 .6 gallon fuel tank, which will run you anywhere from uh, well, to as many 18, as many as 18 hours of uh, 18 hours of uh, operation, it, and of course that depends on what you're what you're working on. All right, we had a little mechanical uh, difficulty there. So all of the this engine, um, I mean, this machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks on it anywhere. Everything works. Uh, this has got a little two-speed uh, transmission, or it's not really a transmission, it's a pump, two-speed pump for your travel motors. You get high and low. Top speed is about 2.8 miles an hour. Like I said, we probably should have cleaned it up a little better, but. Um, these, this undercarriage here is about 85%. There's no leaks on it. The final drives have got plenty of power to push that blade and uh, counter rotate. The hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in this work equipment here. no deflection or any kind of problem in that turntable that right there might look funny on the that's nothing that's just dirt or something there's no deflection or any kind of problem in that turntable for articulation joke for me. so as far as this bucket goes uh, we might have a smaller bucket for this we'll have to check this is a three foot four inch bucket okay 40 inches it's a 36 inch bucket, but these side cutters here uh, bring it out to 40 inches. It's two foot eight inches uh, uh, high. And it's 32 inches deep. It's probably about a quarter yard. That thumb is a 32 inch thumb and it's six inches wide. Um, that, uh, the maximum dig depth for this machine is 11 foot 4 inches. The maximum reach at ground level from the center of that swing right there, out there, is uh, 19 feet. Your maximum dig height is 17 foot 6 inches. Um, the maximum depth capacity of this excavator, it's actually got a net charge right here. Looks like the maximum, I'm looking at this chart right here. The maximum lift is about 2,600 pounds from the front. And uh, 1,600 pounds from the side, roughly. So it, it would lift a very small car. 
Um, these, uh, this shoe width right here is 16, 16 inches. You got seven foot, 10 foot of track on the ground. And the PSI rating is about 4.3. So PSI rating, like me standing here is a six foot one man, 200 pounds. My PSI is probably about 18. So that, that, this excavator is actually lighter on the ground than I am. That's because you've got more area to displace the weight, obviously. So, um, trying to think, Perfecto, I feel like we've uh, maybe forgotten something. Now those lift capacities are with the blade down, obviously. So, um, Perfecto, what do you think of this machine? Well, nothing wrong at it, with it at all whatsoever. No leaks, no deflections, no cracks. Perfect machine. Perfecto says it's a good machine. He's the one that, he's the reason that I went out and looked at it and bought it. So, we're good to go. We're gonna run it in the next clip. All right, so this is the inside of the cab here. If you start this, uh, that's, that's your throttle control right there. See this uh, hour meter? She's a tick tick talking away. There's your little lift, lift, lift chart and your uh, maintenance schedule got uh, fuses and stuff back there this is your seat it's a little dirty but it's like a brand new seat there's your 12 volt outlet in the cab your air conditioner which uh, does in fact blow cold this is your monitor panel so what you do here is you go, like if you want to do the work mode, work tool. You got all these options. This machine will run a brush cutter, compactor plate, hammer, thumb, shear, tilting bucket. You can define different things. So. got two modes there um, continuous flow there's where you change your backhoe control pattern so uh, that's pretty much it here's your lights your horn your, your windshield wipers it's a really nice machine clean super clean and this AC is nice and cold This video will probably do a better job of uh, showing how that coupler works. That's the safety latch.
to. I forgot to say we got a uh this breaker i haven't looked it up yet but i think it's about a thousand foot foot pound breaker it weighs about a thousand pounds so anyway we'll run that here in the next clip hey go ahead for okay.